here we are at um in Napoleon's brain, I guess. And what we need is this thing in the fire, but I think in order to get the thing in the in the fire, we have to go into Napoleon's mind. <laughs> Follow me. I am at the dance in a satin. Pardon my really bad French accent. What's this? My lazy opponent is actually trying to win? He has sent in reinforcements. Well, well. Then let the game truly begin. Send in my best soldier. You! Destroy that bridge! For France! For France? I hate your stupid bridge. This is how much I hate you. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck on that bridge! Ah, yes. Now I shall torment this poor peasant over here. <laughs> oh man, now look. The bridge is broken and I can't move my pieces past it anymore. I quit. Napoleon, you win. No, we don't forfeit. We're gonna beat you, Mr. Genetic Memory of Napoleon Bonaparte. Haha, <laughs> I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my long-legged nincompoop a lesson, eh? <laughs> Alors... Yes, uh, Red Pepper, I am playing a PS2, oh, PS1, no, it's a PS2 port, I think. Yes, that's what it is. Gosh, I'm bad at this. It, Psychonauts came out in 2005 for the Xbox original, the PlayStation 2, and some other things. And it's a cult classic, I would say. Didn't sell a lot at the time, but it, it grew a f huge fan base over the years. A lot of people like it. And right now we are in the mind of a man who who's gone insane from having lost a, ga a game of Catan to someone else. So it's pretty much the ego of a man. The ego of a redditor, I would say. Les emotions. Any carpenters home? Go away, burglar. I'm not a burglar. I'm a recruiter for Fred Bonaparte's army. We're a little light in our corps of engineers, see? Listen, I know you're a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on my roof all night trying to break in. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. The voice in there. Okay, if I'm a burglar, then how can I be down here talking to you and up on the roof at the same time? Maybe you're a ventriloquist. Listen, if I go see what's up on your roof and take care of it, will you come out and help fight Napoleon? No, no. <laughs> Maybe. Good enough. I always felt like the voices of actors who have those really nice, soothing voices to be very attractive. I was had a huge crush on. Remember that Alice in Wonderland one that came out in the '80s, starring that girl with the really intense blue eyes. What was her name? What was that one called? It was like Return to Wonderland or something like that. No, no, no. It was Return to Oz. Sorry, it was Return to Oz, and there was one of them that was just. It was a pumpkin sack. Oh, what? Watch it. it was a pumpkin sack or something? Watch it. Anyway, I had a crush on this thing that... I don't know how, how I'm going to defeat those. A Return to Oz was super creepy, but I also remember it being... I had a huge crush on the pumpkin head dude. And he wasn't like Jack Skellington, where Jack Skellington was like, scary hot, where you're like, ooh, I'm like, I'm afraid. You know? It was like, I'm just a sweet boy! I'm just a sweet boy! Who doesn't know anything? And I was like, you are sweet. You are sweet boy. How do I get this? Hmm. I have no idea what to do. I don't remember this level at all. All I remember is that you have to get big and you have to get small and you have to get big again. 
Hi, Ghost of Cinders. Hi, Colorfroy. Hi, Brownie Bites. supposed to be doing. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna run around and jump on things, I guess. Hello? Sorry. I can't storm Napoleon's stronghold today. Too weak. Oh. Okay. Want me to call a doctor? No, I'm not sick. I just can't find any decent food around here. An army moves on its stomach, you know. An elite force such as I require an elite cuisine. Oh, telekinesis into the water. Thank you. Oh, well, I'll keep on the lookout for some place with good takeout. Only the best, young lad. I am a Frenchman, and anything but the finest French delicacy might bruise my palate and leave me unable to storm anything, save the vomitorium. Okay. Everyone's so picky here. No wonder you guys lost everything. Napoleon! <laughs> oh! Bouncy! Oops! I fell down. You can make it! Yeah! Now what's now what do I do? Oh, it's a giant guillotine! Damn. Now that I'm over here. Oh shit! Oh, I have to be invisible. Ha ha! Oh, there's a little crybaby over a here. Bag tag. Oh, oh, wow. Well, not me. Yeah, I agree, Camel Spider. I've heard good things about Spider-Verse, but it would require leaving the house to go see it. Fred versus Crispin. Hello, I'm Fred, and I help people. Oh no, you're very sick. Would you like to play a game with me and help feel better? Oh right, we're playing. What? No, you can't win. Oh, this looks like a fire thing uh, that I must do. Hmm. You said I had to do something. Objective. Recruit some escargot from the hardy. But I need... He said to come up here. What is the point? I don't want to lose my experience. I guess I'll just go down. Hey, the Haley, The Haley K. Okay, you can come out. Burglar's gone. Wow. You're pretty tough for a ventriloquist. Okay, here I come. Why am I so attracted to that voice? Just show me where there's some wood to work on, and I'll go to town. 
Why am I so attracted to this faceless, calm-voiced person? I love him. I want to marry him. I want to be with him forever. <laughs> I love him. I think... I think I might love him. I think for sure I might love him. How do I direct him towards the bridge? That's the real question, I suppose. Got it. Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. Oh, this cuts off people's heads. <laughs> so I need to get food now. Wait, also, how do I get him? Do I have to jump on top of this thing in order to become big again? Maybe that's what it is. Oh, there it is. There we go. Alright, dude. Hey. Oops, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no. Go away. Nothing more. Crow side you want. How about you fix that broken bridge over there? Yeah. You fly me over there. My legs seem to be glued onto this base, which is kind of weird. I love him so much. I love him. <laughs> We're going to be together forever. I love him so much. Oh, now who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Don't worry, darling. Get you fixed up good as new in no time. <laughs> I want him to be my husband. <laughs> good. Mm. Why am I so in love with this builder? He's so soft and kind. Alright, I have to get a special food from somebody. This person, I think. Sorry, Mari, he's married to the bridge. Damn it! One pill makes you larger, the other hey, makes you, you small. Better? If we storm Napoleon's stronghold, we win the game, you know. Beat Napoleon and everything. Oh, that sounds like a grand plan, sir. But not on an empty stomach. Oh, yeah, okay, forgot. He needs the escargot. Alright, we gotta find... We gotta get big. And go get the escargot. Okay, Escargo, where are you? That's the ch that's a farm. Yep. I think the water tiles over here can kill me. Okay, <gasps> now I can get small. I'm gonna be really upset if he's married to the bridge. Now what? Do I like grab the escargot? What do I do? Who's throwing things at me? Oh. Oh, I have to catch them? How do I catch them? Do I just grab them? Oh, okay. I just... Ha ha! Yes, go go! Ha ha ha! Come here, my little snarly loves. My day is going pretty well, thank you for asking, Killer Fury. Come here! Come here! Do I have all of them? Do I have all of the escargot? Ha ha! I see you here right here! Okay, snails, it's time to serve the cause. So be it! What? <laughs> if it 
is truly a time of war, then we are ready. We can no longer pull our heads into our shells and hide. We are, after all, armored warriors, and this is our land, too. We may not be fast, but we always march upon the glittering path of righteousness, for we created ourselves from our hearts. Lead us onward, and let us eat holes in the leaves of Napoleon's garden. Wow. Right on. Yes. I feel bad that we're gonna eat them now. Like, they deserve better. The snails deserve better! You deserve better, snails. You deserve better. Now what? Okay. I'm sorry your Christmas Charge! hasn't been great. Delicious! I haven't had escargot like that since the Duchess's birthday. But even those were not so full of spirit! I am truly inspired. Come, let us storm Napoleon's stronghold and win this game for Fred Bonaparte. But do hurry. I believe I may be hungry again soon. Dude, how much do you eat? How much do you need? I'm sorry you're you didn't have a good Christmas. I hope things get better. I didn't see my family for Christmas either, but that's cool. Alright, what do we need to do now? What do the farmers need? Hello? It's the onion night, uh, literally. Hello, I'm recruiting for the army of Fred Bonaparte and- Go away! Fred Bonaparte has forgotten the people, and we have forgotten him! What? Fred loves the people. He was just telling me that some of his best friends are, um, the people. He has abandoned us. He doesn't care if we live or die. Look, I'll tell you what, I'll talk to Fred. I'll talk to him, and I'll prove to you that he cares about the common man, and that the fight is not meaningless. I'll believe it when I hear it from him. Told we gotta go talk to the guy, we gotta give him the whole thing. Oh, well at least you didn't have to work, Z Zathurn. Alright, we gotta go talk to the guy. Yakia! Oh, here it is. Oh, you like my accent? Thank you. Sometimes I'm doing a, a Boston accent, sometimes I'm doing a French one. It's up hey, to you. Fred. The problem is, people think you don't care. What? I care? Then lead them to victory, milk it toast. Shut up! They think you don't care if they live or die. What do they want from me? A notice on my official stationery that says I'd be sad if they died? Yeah. Yep. Huh. Well, if that doesn't work... Let me guess. You give up? Bingo! Ha! Another game at which I would surely defeat you. Hey, you take that little victory if you need it, tiny man. Well, you like my southern accent? Well, I do declare. I do an okay accent of the queen. My fellow, my fellow, my fellow Englishmen, I've come here today to humbly ask you to fall to fight for me in the glorious, uh, in the glorious duty of the empire. I come to you matronly to bring you the greatest honor and for the Christmas speech every year. <laughs> every year for the Christmas speech I'm thankful for the people, my family, and the princesses, and, and my dear sister who passed away. 
I am the only reigning monarch left in your yum. Hey. Please don't overthrow me. From your fearless leader. Oh my god. He does care. He does. I knew it. Fred Bonaparte is the greatest leader of all time. I can't wait to die for his cause. Well, you might not die. Might you might win. Hey, he's a great leader, but he's still Fred. Now what do I do? Okay. Hurl my innocent bones into the cruel machine of war. I'm ready. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew I was gonna die, and I but I just wanted to know if he cared if I died. <laughs> Move the newly created to next to the Napoleon soldiers. <laughs> wow. Now we fight! <laughs> Together we will fight against this wall. No. Should I move him over here? Uh -huh. Shuck you! Can't get a good grip. Uh -huh. I would love to slay that enemy soldier, but I am afraid I must save all of my energy for the stronghold. I have only eaten enough to last me through one great struggle, you see. What? Uh, huh? ah, ah, take that! Die! Uh, I kill you! <gasps> Sacre bleu! Sacre I bleu! I believe it, Fred! You have accidentally done something right! I have? Yes, but I'm afraid it's still not enough. More manpower! Ah, oh, mon dieu! I hate bridges! Ah! That is for killing my father! Bridge! Hey, stop killing my bridges! You're making me mad! Oh, another one of your bridges has been hurt. My poor baby. What is this thing? I broke it. Fix it. Oh, now who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Don't worry, darling. Get you fixed up good as new in no time. Thank you for hosting me, Cinnabon. Man, I am good. Mm. Oh my god, I love him so much. Why is he such a wholesome and perfect person? Like, have you ever met someone so beautiful? <laughs> what well, I do declare, I believe in to home comb. <laughs> home go. Why I do declare, I believe in family values like homophobia and institutionalized racism. Vote for me for beauty queen. <laughs> it's me. Hi, my name's Isabella, and I believe in grown <laughs> and gone home country values like hating gays and discriminating against people for no reason other than the Bible said so. Even though I never really read the Bible, I only go off of what people tell me is in the Bible because I don't know how to read. <laughs> Hi. So, now that the guy is gone, I'm recruiting for Fred Bonaparte's army. And Fred really cares. What's the pay? What? Well, this works hazardous. I want hazard pay. Well... I could talk to Fred. Not for me, you understand. I have to take care of my family once I'm killed. What's all this talk of death? We're going to win. Yeah, right. You just come back when you get Fred to pay up. My name is Isabella Johnson, and I'm one of the people who first came over here on the, on the Mayflower. And I believe in my American right to freedom of speech. And with freedom of speech comes my freedom to oppress other people and make sure that they don't get to say what they need to say. I think, as an American, a white American, I have the right to tell other people to shut up. Is it too much to ask that I, an original American, not a Native American, but... <laughs> I 
as one of the first people ever to go to come to America. What about the Native Americans? One of the first people ever to kill all the Native Americans. I believe it is my God-given right to be able to say, No, you cannot talk. <laughs> It is my God-given right to have the freedom of speech to tell other people that they don't have freedom of speech. And I think the constitutionally protected right to protest in an NFL game is completely unconstitutional. So it's time to recruit some more troops. Hey, no problem. I'll just write up some more I care notes. How about writing a check, actually? Building an army is going to cost us a little. I don't really have any money. Well... I did have this really valuable collector's coin. Passed down through generations from my father's father. Whatever. I haven't really seen it since I tried to melt it down. You what? I needed more weight in my Pinewood Derby racer. Not that it would have helped the way I lost. Big surprise there. Shakya. So, so what do I need? where do you think that rare coin is? I don't know. I remember trying to melt it down and burning my hands, and then running to the kitchen for some ice, and then fainting. Wow. Generations of royal inbreeding dans the drain. My god. As soon as they stopped inbreeding. My god. I knew it. I knew it. As soon as we stop inbreeding, the lineage goes downhill. Y'all hear some? Cause I don't. Uh, how am I supposed to get this out of here? Hmm. Do I have any ability to like? How do I get the car? How do I get the gun? There must be a way. Mm-hmm. How do I get the coin? Out. Huh? Agent Kruller? Oh, we gotta get that guy some money before he'll fight. <laughs> Let's ransack Fred's parlor. Nothing more to report at this time. Crawler? Alright. We gotta ransack his parlor. But how do we get... Telekinesis. Can't get a good grip. I can't grab it. <laughs> nope. It's just not work. Hmm. I have not watched Bird Box. Mm-hmm. It is time to cheat! We're going to cheat again. Napoleon coin. It can be used by using telekinesis to pull it out of the fire. However, may I make a point that I can't do it. Can't get a good grip. What? Are you fucking kidding? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Hey, you found my super valuable rare coin. Yeah. Can I have it? Knock yourself out. I got enough memories of my dumb ancestors hanging around. Now, yeah. shock it bleh. Did you know that Napoleon wasn't even that short? He was like five foot six, and he was like totally chill. I'm recruiting for Fred Bonaparte's army, and what's the pay? Hey, check out this coin I found. Money! Oh man! Well, I'm off to die in battle, dear, for an incompetent leader who'll never know my name. I hope you remarry well. More of that negative talk. 
Oh my god, this this game's so woke about war. I'm off to die for somebody who it all on scrapbook making supplies. He's got nuts about that stuff. It's part of the reason I'm so ready to die. Anyway, let's go. What or the ahoy fuck? and all that stuff. Uh, I need to get big again. Mm hmm. Hello. I like how uh, they're very aware of just how little people actually care. I, uh, I kill you. <laughs> Not bad, Fred. What? What I do? You're doing better than usual. And I hate to end the fun, but I guess it's time to put an end to this, as usual. <laughs> Guard the bridge to the stronghold with your life! None shall pass! Listen, farmers, what do you need now? Hello! I'm recruiting soldiers for the army of the caring and generous Fred Bonaparte. Weapon! What? Weapon! That's what I want. I'm not gonna die like the others, okay? That's the spirit. You get me my special musket, and I'll come out. I think I left it buried in some hay in that heavily guarded building over there. Great. <laughs> awesome. No. Nope. Then I'll sign up and kill me some Napoleon lovers. Got it? Be right back. I like how he's the only one who thinks to get a weapon. Oi! Leave me alone. I want to laugh like a Frenchman. <laughs> no, no. Got it. No, no. 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 No, Hmm. No, 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 First tag here. Hmm. What shall I do here? No. Now what? How do I? Hmm. No. No. Hmm. Get up. Hmm. Shotgun blue. 
Huh. How do I do the thing? to get big? Maybe I have to get big. Got it. Nope, don't gotta get big. Tell me what to do! My friend! My love, my friend. Got them be away. Oh, what is this? Tell me again, Totaku. I'm sorry I didn't see your message. Oh wait, do I have to become invisible? Does that make me transparent? <gasps> oh, chocolate blue! Chocolate blue! Do you ever just no. like no. I feel like those no things, those sensor things are such a mood. No. Like no, 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 no way, no. No way. I don't like it. No way. Now what? Now what do I do? What? Do I have to get up on that thing? But how? Oh, I know. I know. Alright. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! That's it. That's my shit. Slap! Yes! 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 Aha! Chocolate bleu! Troops with that. Poison Dreamer says the sensor thing saying no all the time is like me when I have to go to work. <laughs> That's true. All right, all right. No, no. Whoa! Look at that thing over there in this distance, all frozen. I suppose it's not supposed to look like that. But my view distance is higher than it should be. Okay. I don't know what accent that was. It was really bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, there's your special musket. Ready? All right. Now I'm all set to go rob that stupid carpenter. What? I got you that gun so you could fight Napoleon's army, not the carpenter. I've been trying to break into his house for days now, but he's always got a fire going, so I can't get down his chimney. Well. Could you just fight this one lousy soldier first? He's kind of in the way anyway. Okay, but just as practice. Oh my god! <laughs> Leave that carpenter alone! He's my husband! Where is he? Leave my husband alone. He's such a sweet man. He deserves better than all of you. I 
my sweet man. My sweet beautiful man. Cool musket. Ah. Oh, wait. Have to reload here. Die. Ah. I kill you. You deserve to die for trying to hurt my but sweet I, husband. How? Retreat! Everyone into the stronghold! Blast the drawbridge! Immediate ball! Jam the mechanism with something! Anything! Hey! You can't jam the gears! That's cheating! All is fair in love and war! You have fought well, but that is far as you shall go, my friend! Ha! We'll see about that! Fred? Was that you? Yeah! Come on! We're winning! All we have to do is unjam those gears! No. I'm on it, General! Fred seems to have regained some of his confidence, which is good. Alright, we just need to make it across the bridge. The bridge. We have to talk like this. Come and get me, boys! Squash a paper pear sheep. These girls don't lose their shape because diamonds are a girl's best friend. Because back in those times, you could not depend on a man. You had to get your financials cut first. Love grows cold, then he leaves you for a younger woman, and then he doesn't leave you with any money, and there's no job opportunities for women in the 1950s, so getting money through jewelry was something of a financial necessity for women, and even though they were called shallow for needing it, but men would not, but there was no necessity for women to have jobs back then, so if you didn't get money, then you were fucked. No! I'm so mad right now! Fuck! I went all the way around! Because equal pay is a woman's best friend. Diamonds are forever because there's no financial security for women back in those times. Women weren't allowed the same opportunities as men, so you better make sure. Oh my god, this feels really disturbing to watch. What have I done? That was really upsetting. Right. So mad right now. <laughs> Reminds me when I killed a fly with a blowtorch once. I feel bad about it sometimes. Oh man. One time I killed a spider and it was a really big spider and for some reason because the spider was bigger I felt worse about it. <laughs> I still feel bad about it to this day about how I killed that spider because it was so big How am I supposed to t kill this thing? How do I kill this thing? Hold on, let me think Free the gear, okay, how do I free the gear? It's too far away to do the thing. Huh. Man. Hip. 
Maybe I should jump on this thing. No. Can I- I can't- I can't deflect it with my shield, unfortunately. Can't you levitate? No, it's too far away to levitate. See? Like, if I go around... There must be something I can do. Why are there people saying disrespectful things about Sean and Daniel? I don't want that energy. This is a pro Sean and Daniel stream, okay? Like, sorry you don't like men of color in your game- in video games, but like, I ain't about that shit, okay? Fuck! Invisibility? <gasps> Good idea. That's a good idea. Let's try invisibility. Yep. Alright. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, yes! Fuck you! Good idea with the invisibility. The only thing that bothers me is that, like, I, it's totally valid if you don't want to play it because it's about boys, but, like, the game is definitely covering subjects that other games are too afraid to cover and I wish that if people are going to talk about how woke they are because they played Life is Strange 1, they should give Life is Strange 2 a chance because they're definitely trying to do things that other people, like, won't do. And people were like, this doesn't happen. I was like, it definitely does happen. Like, people will definitely target homeless kids and try to hurt them because they know they can. So I don't understand why you guys think this doesn't happen. People specifically target homeless kids for violence all the time. Constantly. It never ends. <laughs> Your walls are no thicker than the crust of a creme brulee. Behold the mighty tapping of my spoon. Life is strange being political. It's not any more political than the first game. <laughs> what? What is this? Fred! Did you do this? Huh? What? I can't believe it! You! You are a Bonaparte! There is some Napoleon in your veins after all! Well, m maybe Finally! I can resign myself back to my glorious history. The future is yours, Fred Bonaparte. You are indeed a true warrior. Go forth and fight all your battles with the same determination you showed here, and your life will be an endless parade of victories, like mine. Yes, well, except for that last one, the one in Waterloo. Mm, I was sick that day. Very bad stomach cramp, let me tell you. That's why I've always got my hand tucked in here, you know? <laughs> You'll find out when you're older. It's uh, hereditary. No! Ha <laughs> You're free! Is he really gone? Hello? Hello? Anyone else in here? Ah, we 
Did it, Raz. I'm all me again. One person. Not French. Get me out of this dang jacket so I can go strangle me in orderly. Hey, good thinking, Fred. That sure would save me a lot of work. Yep. Right after I take a nap. Yes. Uh, what? Nap? <sighs> War is hell, Rasputin. And I am sleepy. Uh, I'll take care of Crispin for you. Just as soon as Good I luck, Barney am. Bites. I, uh... Oh, man. Alright, so we got all the stuff we need in order to look like the guy. So... But let's take a look at ourselves. Yes. I feel like this is a sufficient disguise. I feel like we look pretty good. Yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, you can't fuck this up. So this guy, he used to be... The, one of the patients, but now he's an orderly, apparently. Greetings, Dr. Lobotta. Good to see your face. I see you're wearing your favorite jacket. If I may say so, your claw is looking especially menacing today. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? Yep. Sure is. Taking see a look ya. yourself this time, eh, Doctor? Less work for me. Inmate Ooh. Whitehead. Chief Orderly Bonaparte. You're... You're... Armed. <laughs> well, here I am. Up in the tower of an abandoned insane asylum. Where Hi, Brownie Bites. Talking? talking to myself. Okay, enough with the disguise. The things I do for Lily's brain. Well, if I'm gonna get to the top of this thing, I'd better start hiking. Okay, so this level is always really scary to me because there's this little thing staring at you from the corners and it's the creepiest shit in the whole world. This is like a really scary level to me. Because it's in the real world and it's still creepy as fuck. What the fuck was that? Yeah, this is really creepy. You'll see like a face peeking out, watching you. It's really weird. Benny, <laughs> I thought it would be smaller. <laughs> you never got this far. You know, I I remember I played this, and this is where I got the most stuck. So now that I'm older, I hope I'm better at video gaming. The meat circus is the thing that always got people because it's supposed to be really hard. <laughs> 